New this morning, a house in St. Augustine that was firebombed and shot at during a civil a key time in the civil rights movement is now moving to a new location. Talking about the Canwright House, it's where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was supposed to stay during the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1964. That is until it was vandalized by segregationists. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us where the house is right now and where it's headed by the end of the weekend. So behind me is the Canwright House and where it is temporarily. This is at Windswept Park on Weff Road, which is a little more than half a mile from where it used to be. And the area that I'm walking up to right now where you see is boarded up. Behind that is the sliding glass door. That's significant because that is the area where segregationists shot at least one time through in an attempt to shoot Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was famously photographed outside the house, pointing to that bullet hole in one of the windows. Now, the house is on the way to a new location to preserve its history. For decades, the house used to be right here along Atlantic View on Butler Beach. You can see the empty lot of land now as crews already moved the house from its foundation on Thursday. Now, crews are moving it to Collier Blocker Pergier Park in West Augustine, which is fittingly on West King Street. It's close to 20 minutes away from the old location. The owner sold the house to the county to help preserve its history. The move will cost the county roughly $250,000. So someone on the crew who is helping move this house says the process of trying to get this to its new location in West Augustine will actually start on Sunday morning, around 7.30 that morning, to get it over to West Augustine. He says it's a process that can take anywhere between 6 to 10 hours. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.